What's up, dudes and dudes to the internet? We are back in more. Do, 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 do. And don't worry, I didn't forget Luxie in this week. Actually, I completely forgot about him. I was just logging in to get my dailies and then check on the Curio Martian. I'm hoping to stream today, but we'll talk about all that stuff afterwards as we usually do. But I hope you're having a wonderful day. So I'll also have a video talking about the Curio Merchant's stuff, but separate to that, he, mm, eh, I don't know. Lexian's inventory is okay. It's not great. I guess we'll just get into it. Okay, let's uh, swap over to the Ice Sage just for funsies. Whoops. Uh, and then Star Trail. I don't think any of these are going to be like something people would go for. Maybe the bike, but we'll see. Uh, so this, oops. I honestly always forget that the Star Trail is an ally. So yeah, 25 magic find, 24 uh, magic damage. There's there's a mount that's kind of similar where you're flying on a star. OK, cool. Let's just skip over that guy. <laughs> uh, and then the Fantatar, which is probably one of my least favorite mounts visually because I'm not a very big fan. Yeah, I'm not a very big fan of the centaurs in general, let alone this one's like. Like my favorite color combo is like neon green and purple. This is like kind of leaning a little too far into that greenish yellow, like puke color. I, I don't know. There's just something about it that I just don't like it. Uh, plus the fact that I, I will say this, though, the fact that it actually has like a skeletal structure and bones is kind of disgusting to think because it means that all of our characters have anatomy in a voxel game. Uh, then there's also the confetti jetty, which is funner to say than they are to use. Hello? Why? Why? OK, let's just do this then, because I must have typed it wrong and I didn't even realize. Uh, so, yeah, these are just going to end up being quite literally pinata wings. So they're from an old event. Uh, they're a nice color palette, though. Like, I like it. It's kind of like cotton candy. It's very colorful. Oh, I spelt it with one T, didn't I? Uh, and then there's going to end up being the Baby Dilo. This is back when the devs were extremely lazy and the mount has like only a handful of colors, which is kind of annoying. Um, sorry, I'm trying. Oh, my God, my keyboard. Why is it doing this? It like put in the shift key and stuff. OK, anyway, this guy, oddly enough, is actually more expensive than the Fantatar, which whatever don't buy it anyways uh and then there's the steaming cycle this one i actually really like as a mount is it a decent price not really i like this just because it's one of the uh more modern motorcycles in the game where it actually has the wheels turn and everything like that i've never particularly used this because i most of all use the mounts out of efficiency i would love it if this game allowed us to have the skin of other mounts similar to what we can do with our allies you know because i would love to just use volatile bounder but then have a skin of like i don't know yabaki or gonda i don't care if it explodes and jumps up in the air and looks stupid uh so then there's also going to end up being the luxian equipment style so this is just in the style section you know there's all these different categories and stuff this will give you a random seasonal event pinata or luxian equipment style that you don't already own which basically means that you get like one mastery out of it sometimes there will be more mastery out of it like the pinata heads are all like 10 mastery and stuff like that but Generally speaking now. Uh, and then there's a scam here for uh, this is this is very old. Come to think of it, they should change this. So five crystalline cores for 25 dragon coins each. Now, this is already kind of a beginner's trap just even before the gear update. But now that we have the gear update, this is even more of a joke because you can get thousands of crystalline cores like super duper easy. Um, then there's also going to end up being the Golden Horde Dragon Soul. Now, I'm going to be super lazy with this just because, yeah, um, basically, I'll show you the badge first. So there's all these different badges that you can get. Gives you lots of mastery, gives you a good ally if you're a physical character at the beginning of the game. OK, cool. Uh, but it also ends up giving you the various forms of Luxian, which, oh, my God, you guys haven't seen these before. They're so exciting. Look at them. Oh, he's got wings now. 
oh man now he's got his horns but his wings are a little bit bigger and weirder and he shoots fireballs that turn into flux that's how flux duping has started just kidding i make that joke all the time oh my god so speaking of the flux duping let's uh talk a little bit about it as far as i know the devs are still combating it uh i think the um I think the damage is done. <laughs> like, we still got multiple pages of Gonda and various other things are going up and down in price. Uh, credit pouches are fairly expensive on PC right now, so that's good because you do still have to buy these with real money. But because of the flux stupers buying all of them up, it's almost forced the price of the credit pouches up. So it'll go down in time. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'll make a separate video talking about it. But those of you on console that keep asking about the gear update, we do have a release date ish. Uh, they basically confirmed that they want to have the update come out in May, at least on Xbox, because apparently so I know that you guys on Xbox are like a couple updates behind. Uh, even behind like switch and playstation and the reason for that is because they were dealing with a lot of internal struggles and issues with microsoft uh, apparently i guess those have been resolved and uh, they're supposed to be like giving away a bunch of like free items every day on xbox that might have already ended i i don't know this was something that was mentioned to me like a week or two ago uh, but I was too busy, you know, getting my new setup and everything like that, which I'll show you guys, uh, you know, a room tour in a little bit. Uh, but I've been really experimenting with a lot of different things with my videos and stuff. I know that I haven't been streaming as much lately and I want to kind of dig into that. So first of all, like I keep saying, oh, I changed my setup and everything like that. Um, in the video that I put out more recently, you know, where I had like the Elgato uh, Wave XLR versus the LA610, which basically like, okay, you guys don't care about all that nerd stuff and audio stuff, but in short, I used to be a magician, magician, yeah, right, musician. <laughs> back in the day like long 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 time ago uh and so i've you know i've been in studios before and i know recording software and recording stuff and blah 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 uh so long story short i had this big professional like preamp that was like extremely expensive and then for some reason i got it in my head like dude what if this thing died i wouldn't be able to afford a replacement right now because it's very expensive uh, and so I ended up swapping over to a much smaller, more compact box that Elgato now sells. Uh, and essentially, I was able to get a very similar sound. You guys shouldn't notice the difference because I struggled <laughs> for hours and days uh, to get things to sound as close to the same as possible. It might sound a little better. It might sound a little bit worse. Uh, but frankly speaking, I'm happy with it. It came close enough. And so with all of that it's not like it's some big project that took like multiple days of just constant oh i gotta get it to work it, it was quite literally just you know record a little bit here i notice an issue tweak it so on and so forth just little things like that and so doing that all as live streams would be more problematic because when i'm recording i can just record a quick clip double check everything's working we're good to go with a live stream it becomes a little bit more problematic when i suddenly go live and then like my mic is exploding or something right because then i gotta try and like resolve the issue on the fly uh and having the added uh you know the audience watching uh just adds to the pressure and makes it more stressful you know so Suffice to say, that was primarily what ended up actually like changing, but then I took the opportunity to overhaul a bunch of stuff in my room. Uh, very tedious things that won't affect you guys in the least where like adjusting my monitor height and you know moving around some of my posters and uh, stuff like that it, it, it's all going to end up making more sense when i end up making my uh, video showcasing it all but i just wanted to kind of clarify and let you guys know what was going on with it just because it's taking me a bit longer to make those videos and projects than expected uh, because I've been kind of trying to attempt a new way of approaching my content. This is going to take a while before it gets to the point where the entire channel is like this. Because those of you that might not have been tuning into my No Rest for the Wicked uh, playthrough, 
Uh, I pretty much am almost done with that game just because it's still in early access and there's a lot of content missing. And for those of you that, you know, just kind of want the information, uh, I basically, with the more recent videos in that series, started making some heavy, heavy cuts. And my goal is something that I've always wanted to do, but I just never quite got around to doing it, is with other playthroughs on the channel, I think I'm going to keep that moving forward where I'm going to do like super heavy edits and just kind of cut down like all of the fat and just have the video like super streamlined. And then I'll have the uncut version for uh, for members. Now, does that end up affecting Trove in any way, shape or form? Not necessarily, because with Trove, it's a little bit different because I've been playing this game for such a long period of time. I can't like there is no let's play for Trove anymore because there's nothing to play like it's just grinding. It's just live streams and stuff like that. Now, that said, you guys might have noticed I did experiment a couple weeks back with um, cutting down my live streams for you guys, and I still would like to do that. But editing a live stream down to something more cohesive is a lot harder to do than you would think. Because during a live stream, I'm constantly talking with you guys. And so I basically have to set up markers for myself that I have to just try and commit to memory uh, where like, OK, I made a timestamp here. But what why? What am I talking about? Is it something that's relevant? And then furthermore, sometimes I'll jump topics. You know, we'll talk about one thing at the beginning of the stream and then maybe later on in the stream, it gets brought up again. And so when I say that I want to make my videos more coherent and streamlined, what I did when I was doing those few videos where I cut down the live stream uh, is if you actually watch the live stream, it's kind of all over the place and very, very casual. But then when I cut it down, it'll be like, OK, so this is a topic that I'm going to take out of this stream and put into its own video. But then there's a couple other things that I talk about that don't make sense going into that video. So I'll put them over here in their own video type of thing. Right. Like it's 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 a huge undertaking more than I bargained for uh, to chop down the live streams, which is why I got really intimidated and didn't do it again. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that I don't want to do it. I would love to consistently do it, but it's just the sheer amount of time that it took to get those streams cut down, especially when I'm, you know, just constantly streaming, uh, which is kind of also why I slowed down a little bit on top of, you know, getting my new mic set up and stuff. But anyways, in the favor of, uh, in the spirit of cohesion, I need to shut up and get to the damn point uh, I've got a couple other larger projects that I am going to kind of take over from previous streams. So, for example, you know, I keep opening boxes uh, for Crystal 5 and I'm going to splice all of those unboxings together into one video just to see how long it ended up taking me to get a Crystal 5 hat. But that's uh, that's a long project in the making. And speaking of which, once I get this video up to you guys, I'm going to start live streaming today because I've been really craving streaming Trove. Uh, it's just now I finally have stuff set up in such a way that I'm confident streaming Trove. Anyways, I know this was a little bit all over the place. I'm uh, I don't know. I have slow, stupid brain today, but I appreciate you watching either way. Smash like stuff so for more by the merchant. Want to support the channel and have a wonderful day.